side good. What the fuck? We Sage just said Mo it, bro. Say, say it again. Sorry, I was typing. Sage Mo Jiraiya versus A A Y Full Frank Kage. Uh, yeah. yeah I'm sh shout out Jibs in the VC. Yeah. Shout out Apollo Handle. Shout out Tensor. Shout out Tensor. Shout out, shout out Kezi. Yeah, yeah, y'all should get Apollo as one of the judges. He should. Shout out Quits. My king, come on. All right, Tensor, tell. Uh, can you announce it? Cause I'm bring Nolo up so he can mod. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right, you're right. I'd say shout out to Kessie, but Kessie's an up, so no. Nah. Nolo, do you have your VC mod? All right, I just gave it to you. Hello, mm. can you hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah. shout out Trickster, come on. Yeah, Why shout out Trix. Hey, can you hear Goofy. me? Shout out Goofy. Uh, yeah, Goofy's giving me Nitro. I right, earned man. approximately six years of Nitro. We gonna get our get back. Nah, 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 nah. Right, we gonna so get our lick back. Okay, so who has who? Just to I have. Sure. We have Sigma Jiraiya. I'm the war chief. Shinra and C. Sage Mojiraiya. Yeah, run up, run up, pose in, run up, pose. Pre debate pose. Oh, oh, oh. Who, who do they have again? Who do they have? A. They have A. Team Big Skeptics versus Team We Fucking Make Arguments. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, D1, you were only funny two years ago, dude. Chill out. You, yeah, you could think that, bro. But all right. Yeah, you literally my use my jokes saying that I'm funny, but okay. <laughs> all right. You're black. Go start. Get it? All right, who's, starting, who's starting first? I'm starting first. I want to start. All right, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait. Chill, chill, chill. No, no. I just want to make it clear. Like, can it go turn by turn? So Shinra speaks yeah. and mute Shinra. D1 speaks uh, and mute D1. Guys, okay, so you want me to mute after someone's done every time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are I bet. every 10 to 20, I'm pretty sure, minutes. Okay, wait, so that, if, hold if on. Wait, wait. Case, chill. I need right. to ask questions. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. One thing, just to be clear, everyone just, like, let the other person finish. So, like, let everyone finish their sentence. So don't, like, cut people off, like, at all. Yeah. Then I won't, I won't I know mean, when to mute people. And I know D1 doesn't want to do a long ass debate, so I'm gonna have an hour no, no. Later on. Yeah, that's hour. that's cool. Oh, then I want to yeah, ask: yeah. Is that is that a minimum um tag out limit? Like, say I tag out after ten minutes, and Shinra starts talking, and he tags out after thirty seconds. Is that something that's allowed? Uh, yeah, but there's a certain amount of manual tags. That's why I, on the rules, I'm pretty sure we put there's like three. How many times you can tag out? Um, manually three times, automatically every twenty minutes. So about okay. okay. All right, but okay. okay. So, right. um, D1, do you have any issues with Sid Majora being about? By the way, this? I have one more thing before we start. Uh, can you make sure that there's no shotgunning go off? Because C yeah, and man. fucking Shinra like to talk forever and they make Suck your mother, Bumble Club boy. All right, yeah, that's all. Audience got that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right so three, two, yeah, one, you can start, uh, Shinra. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, are you fine with Sid Majora being above base Jirai? Yeah, okay. Are you fine with base Jirai relative to her tomorrow? No. Um, do you, I'll show you the statement. Okay. That's one. That's two. You can attack it in whichever order. I don't really care. We can go scan my scan. In the Hidden Leaf Village, there was once Shinobi called the legendary Sani. Orochimaru relished the reputation he shared with Jirai and Tsunade as a Sani and enjoyed being recognized as the strongest. He exceeded the others in the interstitial of his ninjutsu, but even more terrifying was his blood curly stare. Okay, so <laughs> what is this in reference to? Like, is this in reference to when they were sawn and, like, when they were in the Hill and Leaf Village? Um, no. I, I think it's just a, a general narrative thing about the sawn, and I don't think it's referencing a specific time period. If it's a general narrative about the Sonic, then it's just contradicted because we know there's portions of times where Orochimaru literally was fucking stronger than Jiraiya, so it just wouldn't be like, the case. Like in part one, where Orochimaru was literally fucking had the best of fucking Jiraiya when fucking Orochimaru was some fucking handicap, and we know wait, that Jiraiya... Uh, wait, 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 that's wait, a wait, 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 No, no, it's wait, the same. Sure, 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 sure. It's an elaboration on the point. Okay, no, 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 no. On it. Thank you. So I'm talking about a certain instance where Orochimaru and Jiraiya were both handicapped and we uh -huh. literally see fucking Orochimaru get the best of fucking Jiraiya and Tsunade. It was literally Jiraiya and Tsunade literally teaming up on just Orochimaru by himself in a three-way deadlock. Do you remember that? Okay. So my response to that would just be, one, show me Orochimaru getting the best of him. If you're referencing okay. the instance in which he bites him on the neck, 
and he says even while we're both handicapped i still have the upper hand i think that's specifically referencing the fact that jiraiya also has to protect wait, naruto wait, 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 wait let him wait, get this game first yeah you can you can find the instance first okay so we're going to dismiss the claim he just made then let me yeah, get the scan that yeah that's cool all right let me that's get the scan cool. Oh, that was not a shotgun, bro. What the fuck? It was, but okay. He said, you're talking about X. I think this is because of wait, Y. Wait, wait, wait. See, bro, see, why see, is he see, talking? See, cool. see, see, see. If you keep talking, we're going to have to... Uh... Yeah. It's just going to get tragic. You padded. Exactly. So while we're here, does anybody want to tag manually or... No, no. no. I'm good. Not yet. No, I don't need him. I don't need to see yet. Seize my secret weapon. I'm gonna tell you when it's been ten minutes. Chapter one seventy. Okay. It claps. It claps. Apollo, when are we gonna do a tag team debate against um? It claps. Apollo? Well, fighting versus... against the evil forces of Gios and the Mother Beater. Apollo, it, Apollo, it could be me and you versus Lightning Jacks and Forks. <laughs> Wait, Alden, what was judgment for you versus Forks? There was no judgment. Just That's... still waiting. For to listen i mean a lot of people thought i did good yeah i think i thought you did good it's a new topic also i don't have a rank by the way i don't have one i don't have the role i don't have an e either i think this system's rigged against people like me man people who don't beat their mothers <laughs> get it why is get it, it bro Arden, can you tell them that, like that like yeah, sure. lose my concentration. Sorry. Sorry. Let's not get personal here. Keep it. And then he's gonna complain about me taking all day to get the scan, but he does shit like this. My fault. Get it. Yeah. Watch you versus forks. I don't even have time to watch my own shit. Uh, I'll find a day. Oh wow! Why is he? Is he muted? Uh, five more minutes until. Yeah, I muted him him. because he was like five more minutes. There's no way five minutes have passed. It's already going on ten. Yeah, (laughs) time is fast when you debate. Man, do you one? What are you looking for? I'm looking for the scan that he, the what he mentioned, where he states it, where he bites him on the neck, and he says that like he gets the best of me, even when they're both handicapped. Does anybody have that scan? I'm gonna look for that. Thank you. I can find you the chapter. I'm on the chapter. I just need the instance. What if we do a one v two debate between Apollo and T Jump and Incense, like a actually a one v one v one? Apollo, you think you get the best of them? Yeah, Apollo is the best in the car, man. I've never seen him lose a debate in my entire life. Except when he debates a donor. Get it? <laughs> that was pretty cringe. Apollo. All right, my fault. What, uh, me and you in a tag team debate versus Lightning Jacks. And, uh, and fucking... And what's his name? Curse Valor. Do you think we take it, Apollo? Or do you think we lose? Yeah, you think we take uh, it easily? Okay. <laughs> that's only because he's on the team, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I figured. That's, that's the only reason he thinks that. Paulo probably thinks he could 1v2 them. If you sure. put him on the team with Tarwin and he thinks he'd be in like, the whole calm. <laughs> Tarwin is crazy. Yes, I Can we bring him? Would you tag? Would you tag yourself out and put me in? No, he fucking would that. He fucking would that. Oh, I, I want to see what he says. Yo, this scan, I know it exists. Yeah. Okay, so can we just go under the supposition that it exists, and we could go on to the next point then? Dude, you I agree that it did. exists. Look, I agree that this statement... This, I can't remember what exactly the statement says, but I know he does bite his neck. Oh, I got it, bro. I got it right now. Yeah, so we could take turn on those fathers? Oh, shit. 
What does Lightning Zach even do? He so does JJ Kareem here. For real? My good second. All right, so the statement states verbatim, even with us both having handicaps, it's no contest, okay? Okay, are you done? Is that your point? Yeah, okay. I think either, like, what's his name? Either this could just be a personality thing, where Chimaru just, he thinks this because of a naturally cocky personality, where he believes he's above everyone else. Or we can get into my second interpretation of this statement right after this. I can that's give you, that's like, Jariah stating it, not or Chimaru. Uh, yes, it is Jariah's. It isn't Jer like Jariah stating that. It definitely is. The text bubble is going towards Jariah, not Orochimaru. We see the point pointing at Orochimaru. It's That's at why he Jiraiya. says, give it up. Uh, it's even at Jariah. Would you guys, to save this, because I don't want to hear this, Um, would you guys like to go look in the anime version? Sure. Uh, actually, or, we look for Alden, you, or do you can just, we can just appeal to Alden. I actually don't know. That's what I'm saying. To save this... Because he says, oh, even with us having both handicaps, there's no contest. Give it up. So he's telling him to give up. And, like, there'd be no reason for Orochimaru to tell Jiraiya to give up. Or for Jiraiya to tell Orochimaru to give up if, like, Orochimaru had these fangs around his neck. So no, Orochimaru's in the current position of power. Listen, to save this argument... Yeah, we just go to the anime version. Please. I don't yeah. want to hear this Orochimaru versus Jiraiya. Actually, send it to me and I'll stream it on the share the the fucking stage. I just found it in the anime. Um, it's uh Orochimaru talking. Okay. Okay, okay you can say. Yeah, I, I mean, D1, you, you you can still argue about it, even if it's Orochimaru talking. Yeah, I know. So that's yeah, that's the end of that. All right, so let's go. Okay, so do you want me to show you Orochimaru being like cocky in character? Uh, we could get it. I need to attack the first point that you made. You saying that it's a personality trait about Orochimaru, right? But we know that Orochimaru is not just this cocky character because we know that he also is honest. We know that when he literally fight against Hirazen, he states that maybe if you were ten years younger, you would be able to defeat me. And we know that Orochimaru is this type of guy who literally uh, strategizes and specializes within thinking and critical thinking. Okay, so he plans out things accordingly. That's why he takes years in order to like go and fucking uh, prepare the fucking go take on Harrison because he knew at this point that he would be able to defeat Harrison, which he did okay. so. He literally said that Harrison would be able to defeat him if he was 10 years younger. So no, okay. he's not just this character who's just cocky and just says things out of boat. Okay, okay, leave that point there. Uh, tag. Mm -hmm. Wait, okay, we can tag. That's cool. Tagging. Tagging. Unmute C, no low, because I know he's server muted. Time for C. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, I just want to counter that statement that D1 made uh, by saying no. No, 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 no. no. Go, go off the, the thing D1 inserted. Wait, so, but D1 made the final point, so am I not supposed to counter what he said? Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were, like, going to attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, D1 basically said that we know that Orochimaru is also honest because he, like, makes a claim about Hiruzen's strength when he was in the past in comparison to now. Um, I think that that's cool. Like, he can make a claim like that. But we also know that even in regards to Hiruzen, Kabuto states himself that Orochimaru willingly chose or made the decision to fight Hiruzen despite having, or despite Hiruzen having the reputation of being the strongest out of the five Kage at that time. So clearly, it would seem as if despite Orochimaru's honesty and holding Hiruzen to a high regard, he's still egotistical by believing that he can take someone like him down. Um, I can send that scan if you want, Jin. Well, no, the, the, I already know about the scan, but the point is they wanted to wait till Ruzen got weaker. Because we know, I have that book scan, we know it is stated like multiple times that he just did get weaker because of his old age. Um, and like that was the whole point. Like Ruzen, um, Orochimaru even clarifies that he got weaker as well when he fought him. You know, so. Yeah, wait, that's, um, that's not the point. We well, can no, move no, on to whatever. No, wait, listen, no, no, no. The point, is about, the, the point is about Ruzimaru being honest, right? I'm saying the honesty is Ruzimaru is. Um, clearly looking at Haruzin's strength and giving him the respect he deserves. He's saying, okay, when this nigga was young, he's a fucking Chad. I can't step to him, right? And Uruchimaru obviously knows how strong he himself is and how he can actually depict strength. So he's like, okay, I'm going to sit here, wait for this nigga to get old and weak, and then he's like, oh shit, it's not my time, I'm going to go cook. And guess what happens? He beats that nigga's ass up and he wins, and he fucking kills that nigga. And then there's a scan for you as well, where it really clarifies during his young youth, that he was this, that he was this strong. So it does line with the interpretation that he is honest. He actually does respect people's strength and actually does look at these people accordingly. 
Alright, so this is why I told you to let me finish before you started chatting. That's not a defeat to what I was saying, Jim. My entire argument was that, sure, right, he can make a claim about Harrison's past strength, right? That's completely fine. However, at that time, Harrison still had a reputation. And this reputation was that he was the strongest out of the five Kage or the five leaders of the principal territory. It's the same thing, okay? So despite knowing this reputation and despite knowing that even if he's weaker, like let's just say that this is the case, even though you haven't sent any evidence, even if he is weaker, right, he still makes the decision to go and fight him despite knowing that he still holds this reputation and still holds this title. The fact that he makes the decision shows that even if you want to call him honest, which you haven't sent any scans to show that he has gone weaker, so I'm not going to make any claims with that. Exactly even if you, even if, wait, 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 chill, chill, yeah, chill. chill, chill, chill. Even if you want to, even if you let him finish. call him honest, which you haven't proven since we don't know if he was an actually go weaker, it still doesn't matter because he's equally, if not more egotistical for choosing to fight Hiruzen despite knowing he still has his reputation. Okay. Go ahead. Um... I don't know. I was really. I was doing. I was doing was telling where I did post the scans. Like that's all I was doing. I wasn't trying to interrupt or anything. But um, I did post the scans. I put that book scan where it clarifies that during his youth he was this strong. Um, I I, I don't know if you want to go into the point now, but um, I don't believe in that whole reputation thing. I think that was only during his prime and not when he was a, um an old man. Um, I don't know if you want to go into that now. We can just go into it later. But um, the, the that still does like all I'm gonna say is that um, regardless if he has this quote unquote reputation. Um, Aruchi Maru is just saying he did get weaker. Um, Haruza in the same scan does just say he get weaker. Haruza literally says, I don't have enough strength to pull his soul out. Like he's literally clarifying that like he like he shouldn't because he thought he was able to do it beforehand, but he's like, okay, I can't do it now, I don't have enough strength. So he just did get weaker. The data book I sent above also just clarifies during his youth he was stronger. So okay, okay, uh, okay. I, I just um, disagree, bro. We, okay, would anyone like to manually tag out or no, no, I'm cool. Okay, so, so yeah. Go on to um, yeah, yeah. So basically, sorry for the train in the background. Um, but this first scan, no, you sent multiple scans, so I'm just gonna respond to each and every one of them. Yeah, yeah what's up? Do you I, I want manually tag him for this point? Are you sure, bruh? Yeah, yeah that boy's that boy's lost. Ah, uh, that's cool, bruh. Okay, okay, yeah. Basically, to respond to Jin's whole point, which is basically just that, oh, oh, Orichimaru is weak in like um Orichimaru, yeah, he's honest because he has this view on heroes and where he thinks that oh here is I'm only gonna go after heroes after he's weakened because I think I'm weaker than him whenever he's like at full power. That's cool. Orichimaru can think that he's weaker than Okay. Anyway, let me just respond to what Jin said. That's cool. He can think that, oh, he's inferior to this um, hero and who is drastically stronger than his than his current version, right? That doesn't defeat that he's egotistical towards like towards other people, right? For example, it'd be like me saying, oh, just because I'm overconfident, that means that I think I'm like for the best in the entire world. That isn't what that means. That just means that sometimes you might have an overinflated view of yourself, right? So since you're on the affirmative when you're trying to use this scan, you'd have to give me an actual basis as to why he isn't just being overconfident here. There's literally a scan in his own data book files that literally say that, what's his name, that he's egotistical. He's running, that's another point. Yeah, that's a separate point. Yeah. Which is shocking. Yeah, we're going to dismiss... That. Yeah, we're dismissing that little data book. That was another separate point. Yeah, we can go so, to that. You're not, you're not understanding the reputation shit. A reputation is something that is gained over time, okay? So here isn't having the reputation as the strongest fucking uh, Hokage doesn't deny oh. the fact that he's now weaker and that Orochimaru planned it out in order to the fucking defeat this weaker Hirzen, right? Because if he would have fought Hirzen, which he stayed for him if he was 10 years younger, he maybe would be able to defeat him. And that's the reason why he chose to fight him fucking now is so that he can defeat him while he's weaker and uh the analogy is like michael jordan who has like the reputation of like being the greatest basketball player of all time but he's currently not the best basketball player right now but he still has the reputation of being the fucking best based off his prime feats and not based off what he is now right because we know that other characters are strong in him so that reputation shit doesn't matter and it doesn't contradict the notion about the point that he uh orochimaru is this honest guy and he gives people credit where it's due so he's not not just making these fucking generalization based off nothing so you would need to prove that? i wasn't done wait, wait, go ahead wait, just let him finish okay. yeah yeah you would need to prove why orochimaru is this cocky character because the only thing that you're appealing to right now is the same scan so you would need to show evidence because i show evidence that he is honest okay so go okay. ahead D1. Um, one, the thing you said about how, oh, this reputation is just referring to his prime self. I'm going to need you to prove that. Because you're basically just saying that, oh, well, Michael Jordan gained this reputation, right, of him being the best basketball player whenever he's like, um, 
whenever he's alive or whenever he was in his prime but since he's no longer in his prime he st he still has this reputation right however like we know that this thing isn't currently the case however that isn't true i think whenever people are talking about titles in naruto that they specifically reference whether or not this is currently the same strength you are all right or not right for example whenever Erika says oh um Hiruzen was once revered as the strongest of all of the kage that's a title that he has being the strongest of all the kage and they say was referencing past tense right so obviously whenever people are referencing these titles they aren't referencing just oh this is what you did in your prime if you're washed up then i don't see any reason why you'd have the title that's why there are multiple other shinobi titles but we can like you can respond yeah so first you would need to send that scan because that's still not a defeater because what it states is reputation by definition i'll send a definition of a reputation because your argument goes in line with what i am saying a reputation okay, is yeah. something that ain't your reputation is something that is gained over time okay so you're trying to say uh, it stated that here's in once was the strongest hokage okay and they literally clarify by saying he had the reputation they don't state he is currently now still the strongest it says that he had the reputation of being the strongest okay now send a definition of what reputation means okay let me get that and okay. i want you to send a scan about the iruka shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i'll so send you down Repeat. By the way, see, I see you doing it now. You can't amp your like partner like in the chat. He's pinging me. None of that shit. You're not allowed to amp your thousand in the rules, so my fault. It won't happen again. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. Uh, wait, hold on, wait. Sorry, does um did Jin tag out? Yeah, Jin tagged out. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I see. Okay. <laughs> Fair pattern here, by the way. Okay, so this is the definition right here. Okay. Okay. Um. So, do, do you want? Can I respond to your argument now? Uh, can I say the definition? Then you can respond. That's well, the point of me getting I mean, the definition. It's in chat. It's in chat yeah, I, I want to read it and elaborate on what I mean about okay. reputation. Yeah. So, the opinion that people in general have about someone or something, or how much respect or admiration someone or something receives, based on past behavior or character. So when it states past behavior, there are things that he did within his past of uh, fucking history as him being a fucking ninja. OK, that's what it means to have a reputation. That's why I gave the analogy be by Michael Jordan. But you didn't even contradict the analogy by Michael wait, Jordan. Wait. You just said that it was this. Bro, I was. Wait, I thought you were elaborating on your initial bro. point. I don't know why you're trying to. Bro, you just said that you were. You just said that it was disanalogous, right? By saying that in Naruto, it refers to things that are like currently. They'll say things like was or now, right? But that's what the reputation thing is for, and it doesn't de defeat my argument. Okay, are you done? Okay, yeah. reputation is basically just what people believe, right? Or what people like, what people believe you to be. If he says, "Oh, well, he he was this thing," right? That means that this is a reputation people have that they no no longer currently have because he they because like this thing he doesn't have this level of strength again, right? However, we see that isn't the case with um Hiruzen's reputation. They say, "Oh, he has this reputation as this thing." That's implying that he didn't used to have this reputation. This reputation isn't. Something that he lost this is the current reputation that he still currently holds so he isn't losing his strength and his strength isn't connected back to this thing right then that's one and then two you'd also have to prove that like the people have knowledge on their right. prime heroes right. wait 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 because he that's another embedded claim within is like what he was saying you'd also have to prove that people wait, have wait, knowledge wait, wait, on like, how strong prime heroes are just to keep the debate more clean let him respond to the first thing first yeah thing. okay he can go ahead but so wait, he said something about my argument yeah, being disanalogous. I want to respond. That, bro, that's multiple things, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, but <laughs> didn't wait. Hold on, Uden. Sorry, didn't you agree that there would be no shotguns, bro? What the fuck is this, bro? That's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying Shinra is about to go crazy right now. Keep it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we can get into the other part about it being disanalogous after hurry this. Up. You guys right. have four minutes until it changes. Okay, so you <laughs> are what you call it, right? Begging the question. What's in question right now is if reputation is in reference to past behaviors. I sent evidence of why this thing is the case. You are not sending any Thanks, evidence. Spencer. You are not sending any evidence to prove why reputation is only about things that are currently the case. And I gave the analogy about Michael Jordan. I sent the definition as well. And what's in question right now is if this reputation is that does he have this reputation currently still? Okay. If he still is the strongest out of the fucking five Kage for this reputation, with this, bro, who who is who is talking? 
All right, no, sir, can you repeat, repeat, it. To repeat it. it? Okay, I'll start the argument over. Okay. So what's in question right now is that the reputation that he has for being the strongest Hokage, is it in reference to his current strength or is it in reference to him when he was at his strongest? Okay. I sent evidence by posting a definition about the reputation shit and it's stated by past behaviors. Okay. So then when they say, oh yeah, well, we did take on the fucking Hokage who had the reputation of being the fucking uh, strongest, right? <laughs> they are saying that he had this thing because a reputation is something that you fucking gain over time. You don't have to still be the fucking strongest in order to have a reputation of being the strongest. Do you understand how that's not a contradiction? Right. I gave the analogy with my Jordan. It's criteria, bro. I gave the analogy that fits the description with Michael Jordan about him still have reputation as the best, but no, currently isn't the best, but he still has his reputation. Okay. I gave two evidence. You are not supporting your claims with any evidence. You're just giving speculation and skepticism because you're as fuck. Okay. So now I want you to send that in Naruto when it's in reference to like things that are currently that they use certain dictions in order to determine this thing. But the diction being used within the scan is reputation, which I just fucking clarify what it means. You you're rambling a little bit. Uh, I'm not okay, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so to respond to what he said, because I wrote it down. The first thing is just that, oh, currently what's in question is like, I don't know this title is based off of his current self or, like, or current self or his prime self, right? Your basis as to why he's referencing his prime self is because of this, like, what reputation is. And reputation is basically just saying you're basing, you're like, you're basing what you call someone off of their past behavior i'm asking okay but how much into the past is it how much into the past is this statement being based off of because obviously sure they're basing it off of here what Hiruzen has done in the past right but i'm saying is that referencing Hiruzen when he's younger when he's like in his prime because then you'd also have to be presupposing that kabuto who's the one making this statement has knowledge on this past like prime Hiruzen. whenever he's talking about the past why isn't that just referring to his fight with orochimaru since that is also a past event right for you to try and slim down whether or not it's referencing his past or his like um prime self or his current self is very completely disanalogous because if they're basing off of his past like uh, actions in general i don't see why it's only referring to a specific time in the past like that's literally just you committing like oh, okay. it's just you trying to slim down the scan and cherry picking okay, okay, but we can okay, move okay, on okay 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 I'll um, tag CM. go go ahead uh well, it's one more minute till D1 has to right. tag Jin and so, D1. D1 to tag so Jin. you're not understanding the argument, right? You just helped my argument. If you're saying that Kabuto, how does Kabuto know that he has these reputation, which is literally, he's the one who's making the statement, okay? We don't know if Kabuto seen him in his prime self. We don't know if Kabuto was even present in the fight where he fought against Orochimaru. So if Kabuto has limited knowledge of making this claim, it would fit my fucking criteria of why it's a fucking reputational thing and that's something that is actually current. OK, because you just agree that Kabuto probably has limited knowledge about fucking uh, here's and abilities. He probably heard it from fucking somebody else. Right. It's based uh -huh. on people believes. That's how reputations get around. OK, if you probably go ask somebody who's the best basketball player, they're going to say fucking Michael Jordan, but has no fucking idea how Michael fucking Jordan, how good he is. It's just something that's a reputation. It doesn't necessarily have to have okay. any knowledge on it. Right. All right. It's been 15. Uh, C and Jin come in. Yeah, Alden, I wanted to ask quickly. Jin slipped something in, and I didn't get to respond to it. And I don't want to go what too much that time. Uh, here isn't being weaker. He slipped that scan in, didn't get to respond to it. That's why I was saying he's shotgunning me, but, uh, you know. I mean, that was kind of a part of... Didn't bring was, it up? Yeah, wait, chill. Yeah, D, D1 brought that up after. That's basically what they're talking about now. Yeah, yeah but that's why I'm putting into question whether here isn't actually... We can just put down hold, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, 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 don't... You don't have to... It's nothing that was slipped in, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so as for, for, as for the reputation thing, Basically, I'm pretty sure what D1's saying is that we need to prove that the reputation isn't only or solely based on your um, past self. I don't know if D1 actually read the scan here, but I'll read it out for him and for Jim. It says, and it is said that he, Hiruzen, possesses superlative strength, superlative simply meaning strongest, um, even compared to the other Hokage. This is said, so obviously reputation based. And then he says, Iroko, why are you using past tense, right? Which implies that he would still have possessed this strength to this day. If he's saying, this is not something you should be using past tense for. Clearly, this just adds more evidence or credence to the claim that, yeah, this isn't a past tense thing. This is something that still holds true and is supported by the fact that he still has reputation. Because reputation is something that's gained from your past, but it's also sustained into the present and into the future. By sustaining reputation, that should just automatically lend credence to the fact that you still have this reputation as based on actual feats rather than something that you've lost. Go ahead, Jen. Um... Yeah, so my response is literally Orochimaru quite literally saying he's wrong. And in the same scan, 
um, Haruzen questioning himself, saying, like, I should video do this. So what it actually sounds like is Haruzen has a big head, and everybody else around the world literally just said he got weaker. Because Orochi Maro said he got weaker, Aruka said he got weaker, and that book I posted earlier said he got weaker. Um, so it, it literally just seems like Haruzen's the one with a big head and not everybody else. Um, do you have an issue with that? Uh, I have an issue with that, yeah. So let me just like summarize your argument. You're saying that um, because Erika and the children are saying blah, 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 are you sure, bro, that therefore the statement's not true? Uh, they, I, no, no, I'm basically saying everybody else knows he got weaker. I mean, Haruzen is the only person in denial. Okay, yeah, yeah, no. So that's not how it works. So basically, Harrison corrects Erica. Erica says, ah, oh, sorry. Okay, so clearly he's accepting his mistake. I don't know if you know what an apology is. When you apologize for something, you acknowledge the fact that you've done something wrong. Clearly, in this context, it's referring to using the past tense. Then the children say, are you really that strong? You don't look like it. So they're basing it not off of his chakra or his feet. They're basing it off of his appearance, which I don't think I need to remind you on why basing something off your parents can be wrong. Like these are children, obviously they're not going to be too elaborate or critical with their thinking and analysis of someone. As for the data book that you sent, um, where it says that Harrison was once the strongest, uh, uh. or not Harrison, no, it says the Hokage was the most powerful uh, Kage among the five. I think that he still has a reputation to this day. So this data book, this singular data book can imply that this is based on his prime. We have multiple scans within the manga that imply the contrary. So I just think we should take those to be the case. Wait, okay. okay. I want to tag him back. I want what back the back fuck? <laughs> I want to tag back and again. Dude. Oh my lord, bro. <laughs> okay. So wait, Jin, one, one <laughs> resended, one resended. No, it's Jin's turn. turn. It's Jin's well, no, no, you have to go, yeah. you have to go based on what Jin says and follow what C says. You can't add something new. <laughs> no, I'm asking you to. No, I'm asking you to resend the the, the state the book statement. Yeah. Um, okay. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. So the data book statement is actually clarifying us during his during his. Year. I asked you to resend it. I didn't. Yeah. No. Okay, no. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It literally says during his. So year. wait. So I wait. Let me. What? What? That that doesn't even look real. No. Okay. It's not real. Bro. You can think that's cool. That doesn't even look real. Would you like oh me to see God. the scan and see oh if it's God. real? Look at that thing. <laughs> what did you get that from? What did you get that lab, from? No cat. He mastered the five chakra nature. Okay, buddy. Okay. Does he not know all five chakra natures? Are, are we, it's, it's not. Wait, wait. War. It's what? not. Wait, wait. Oh, Jen, it's not. Wait, wait. Chill. Yo. Yo. Haven't. Wait, wait, wait. Haven't y'all already agreed wait, that he is no, no, stronger no, no. than the five kage in no, his no, prime? No, 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 like, no, no, no. Wait. Let me. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain this. One. That scan has incorrect English. What does he master the five chakra nature and many jutsu mean? It's he mastered, dude. That's one. <laughs> Two. Right. Okay. That scan looks fake. Three. The whole reputation. <laughs> Thing that you actually, Jin, you were trying to bring up. Is it you just no, 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 you're making multiple things. Hold up, bro. You got okay, to what, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do about this scan? Because I'm pretty sure in my notes, you guys already agreed he was stronger than the five. Kage yes, in his I prime. agree, he's at the strong. I agree, he's stronger than the five cog in his prime. I'm saying this whole thing is that he's trying to use this as a basis as to why he's weaker or he's no longer like at the same strength when he gets older. This, this isn't even real. This is probably uh, just like a fan translation. I'm not no, Jesus, Christ. No. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus <laughs> Christ. This is the great gin. All right, keep going, people. Yeah, keep okay, going. Okay. Uh, Respond mm -hmm. to this like first the reputation thing that you said that isn't a knowledge thing that can be based off of what other people believe. I don't think so. If Kabuto's whole thing is just that he's being a, he's a spy, right? Therefore, he should have like he should have adequate knowledge on all everyone in the five five different villages, right? You like you bringing up how oh well Kabuto has limited knowledge, so that helps my point. Yeah, God, dude, Kabuto has limited knowledge Yo, because Audi, when he was. Wait, 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 I want like, I want to talk okay. after, right. after, after, after I, I, I post this one scan do you want right, let me let me respond to right. let me respond to everything you said then right and then the other Bro, you just the other that. I didn't even get to talk like what the wait fuck? Shinra you mean? have to calm down Shinra don't yeah. worry the timer's paused right I now I want I want to respond I want to respond to the last thing you said about how the heroes and doubt it 
Right. Oh, the children. Bro, you're gonna you're gonna make this debate so yeah. Like, oh my god, chill out. Yeah. Okay, Listen, okay, general, general, Jim, do you want to general? What is the head? first thing you're attacking? Okay, I've already attacked all of the other things. I'm saying the children doubting all of the it. other things. Yes. Okay. What are what were those things? The first thing is whether or not reputation was a knowledge thing, right? And the second thing is that oh, okay. I'm keen saying that Kabuto is just basing this could be basing this statement of what other people believe. The third thing is him saying that Kabuto has limited knowledge, okay, so, so he you're would, fucking like, shotgunning the shit out of them. All right, he, listen. What, here's, here's, here's what we're gonna. Points, well, so well, actually, no, no. You might not be like there might just be multiple points established. Okay, exactly. Shin, Shinra, Shinra, Shinra. Uh -huh. Okay, to make this clean, right? To make this clean. So the first point you're agreeing with, right? Essentially that, oh, it's, it's you know, it, it's based on what people say, stuff like that. So you're agreeing with well, that saying, idea. So I'm saying it's based off of, it's not just based off of what other people think. I'm saying it's also based off of the person who's making the statement's beliefs. Oh, Which okay, D1 okay. just, D1 okay, just said okay. that he, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then okay. the second, okay. And then the last thing, Jin, is literally just that the children doubting it doesn't mean anything. They don't know how strong Hiruzen is. The whole reason they're there is to learn how strong Hiruzen is. And they're literally, what's it? They're literally just under saying, oh, well, yeah, Hiruzen, sure, you look, you look old. I doubt that you're strong. This doesn't actually mean anything. These children are being brought there to learn how strong he is. It would make no sense for us to take into account these people's statements, right? Into how strong Hiruzen actually is. Oh, the only okay. other, mm -hmm. wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. the, wait mm -hmm. the only oh, other thing oh, that you said oh, that needs a reputation to. Oh, oh, Shinra, 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 you're gonna, like, Shinra, not like, only are you. You're gonna fuck it up for you and your team. You're gonna fuck up the debate, like pretty much. Yo, so essentially, let me just, let me let me just elaborate this to the other team. Essentially, he has no problem with the idea that people get their reputation based on what's said. The whole disagreement here is essentially that um it, it still is a self-belief. So and essentially that where like where are the children getting this from if they're here yeah, to learn that, about heroes and bro, just like that. Uh, okay. All right, so, D1, go ahead. Wait, wait, I didn't... D1. D1, no, I wanted oh, to do one thing. Okay, one okay. Time, Say you're defeated, then D1 comes okay, in. Okay, okay, okay. So, one, I wasn't appealing to the children. I was appealing to Aruka and her, um, Uruchimaru and them basing it on... Um, basing it and basically watching it. Like, I don't care about the children for real, for real. Like, I, they, they just got born. They don't okay. know what they're talking about. But we know Aruka, who's, who's been alive for a long time, who can, who has been through um, alive through Karuzin's Hokage reign, same with Uruchimaru, can tell if he got weaker or not because they have seen him. Hence why I'm saying that Haru's in denial. And this is the one skin I was going to post before I tagged out. You can see right here, like, because this is how Haru's got strong. Remember? He's a professor. His title. This is this data book is really clarifying that Haru's tomorrow's talents surpasses um, Haru's in professor title during the old age. So, unless you think Prime Haru's in, because he, um, they didn't, he didn't get weaker, right? Unless you think Prime Haru's in, is weaker than Ruchimaru, right? Which like makes no sense why Ruchimaru is on the mission. Um, <laughs> which show that Ruchimaru is being humble and he actually re does respect strength. You need to concede the fact that nigga did get weaker. That's all I wanted to say. Okay. Can I be on mission now? Okay. Okay, um, guys. What, uh, hold on, wait, hold on. Never mind. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't hear the last part since my mom called me, right? That's one. And then two, uh, the only other thing I say, like the thing I did hear was the Hiruzen thing. What you were saying, oh, well. <laughs> He went, well, oh no, the Iruka thing where you said, oh, well, Iruka doesn't think that he's as strong. And like Orochimaru's statement too, like both of those statements don't mean anything. All of these statements just mean it's just that they think that Iori, like Hiruzen would have gone stronger from when he was in his prime. That doesn't mean that he's no longer stronger than the five Kage, right? Hiruzen is basically just trying to tell him that, yes, even though I'm weaker than I am before, that doesn't mean that my title should change, right? <laughs> same, same with the Orochimaru instance. You saying that, oh, well, he's weaker or he makes comments about him being weaker that doesn't mean he can he still isn't stronger than the five kage it's literally just you making all of these presuppositions that you can't prove and this fake wait wait skin, uh, he's wait, no, oh, he, it's a fake skin don't matter no more y'all already agreed to some of the contents in it just fucking oh. leave it go all ahead right, what, what, turn? what the fuck oh, fuck man y'all keep like it don't matter no more keep going wait how long how long till i tag in um about 10 minutes Shinra, bro, what? if I'm tagging again, don't tag me up, bro, please, bro. If you start chatting, I might. Evil, okay, okay, go Okay, so, uh, it's my turn, right? Yeah, yeah, you're in. Yeah, so the whole thing about you saying the Aruka statement, bro, Aruka literally scratches his fucking head and literally say, I'm sorry, okay? 
that can just be a respect thing about a Hirizen, okay? Because Hirizen probably admires his strength as himself, and it could just be a thing that he's egotistical, and he believes that he's still the strongest. But we know Aruka's original belief when he says it said was possessed the strongest and has superlative strength compared to the other five Hokage. So he goes with his initial thoughts, and the only reason why he fucking changes it is because Hirizen literally presses him on the issue, okay? So it could just be your ear because respect and fucking uh, Hirizen. That doesn't contradict anything. The uh, other thing, like I was stating before, bro, if you're agreeing that Kabuto is a spy and he has all this information about people he spies around, right, you would need to prove that fucking Kabuto seen fucking Orochimaru, I meant fucking Hirizen fight in the first place, because that's what's in question. If Kabuto has any knowledge about fucking, uh, uh here is in fucking abilities or is it just something that he's basing off of reputation which i stated before right and just because kabuto has this belief his belief could be based off other people's belief i already gave you that analogy that you're not refuting like how other people can say oh well michael jordan is the best player in the fucking uh league it has no fucking knowledge on how fucking good fucking michael jordan is as a basketball player okay it could just be based off other people's beliefs that's what reputations are about past events and if you're agreeing to the notion that um uh, right that erika I mean, fucking Aruka is making this claim and that fucking Hirazin is saying, well, it could be in reference to him in his prime state as well. That's a concession on your end because if you're agreeing that it could be... Uh, oh, my call. I should have asked you to repeat yeah. My fault. Okay. Now let me finish. If you're agreeing, right, that this reputation thing could be in reference to his prime self, and you're not even showing any evidence to the contrary why it would still be in reference to him being the strongest, right? And you're saying that's not a contradiction. But you're on the affirmative here, right? You would need to be the one to prove why Harrison still has this reputation that is currently active, that he is still stronger than the other Hokages, and you still have not fulfilled that fucking burden. You just gave interpretations as fucking the possibility claims. Which we're not on the affirmative here. We're the one who's playing the skeptic here and giving alternatives and showing evidence and reasons to why this thing is the case and why this reputation should be in reference to his prime self and not currently by the fucking evidence that we show with him being weaker than his prime state. Now you can okay. go ahead and continue. Are you done? Okay. First of all, Kabuto, I'm questioning Kabuto's knowledge. I just think there's literally just, you have no basis to question how knowledgeable Kabuto's be. If you already agree that Kabuto goes in spying on all of these villages, his whole like thing is that, oh, he wants to spy on Hirizen. You already agreed yourself that they've been making this whole plan for Hirizen because they know how strong Hirizen is, right? That would be literally just you backtracking on what you initially said. You can't say, oh, he's humble because he knows how strong Hirizen is, right? And then say, oh, well, actually Kabuto had just has no knowledge at all. Kabuto, the whole reason he's hyping up Orochimaru here is he's saying that, oh yeah, don't worry Orochimaru, it's cool, because this guy he has this reputation as this thing, right? So if he just suddenly got way weaker, his reputation would no longer matter, right? Because this reputation would no longer hold true. So it just doesn't make sense. So questioning Kabuto's knowledge already is just backtracking on your initial point, right? Shekhov's gun already kills your argument, right? And then the last part of what you said, wait, what was the last part? Can you just summarize it really quickly no and not okay, that we're wow. wasting time i'm sorry if he wasn't <laughs> okay, tracking, okay. can you just summarize the last part Arden, if he wasn't tracking the argument that's his fault because i, I should have just dismissed it, it. Dismiss it. Which, which argument which the, okay after after he brought oh yeah, yeah yeah i remember one of it it was just like you saying that oh well what's his name the iruka statement he only corrects himself because of like he only corrects himself because of like almost his name because he has respect for for Hirizen, I literally just say, okay, well, you're on the affirmative here, saying that um, Iruka doesn't actually think that, uh, doesn't actually think this thing, right? So if you can't try and play skeptic with this other statement here, right? You'd actually have to give external reasoning or give extra reasoning as to why Iruka's statement is actually based off, it's actually just he's saying sorry because he has respect for Hirizen rather than just, oh, he's actually just wrong here. Because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, has he seen old Hirizen fight? No. So, like, this statement just doesn't mean anything here he can't say that oh he was just way weaker with no basis concession. right so okay i don't think go that's ahead, a concession you want, go, go go ahead, one. Well, yes. don't think it. let him fucking talk. yeah that's a concession if you agree that here the ruka didn't see old heroes in fight okay if you're agreeing that he hasn't seen old heroes in fight yes, and then here's it shut but why is he speaking Right. If you're agreeing that Aruka didn't see old heroes in fight and then he goes with this general idea about him possessing the strength in the past, and then when Uhuruka presses him on the issue and say, why are you using past tense? And then he scratches his head and say, uh-uh, ah, sorry, 
I am saying this could be in respect to fucking Harrison so that he won't diminish, diminish his fucking ego because Harrison could just have this admiration about his strength. That is why I'm saying you are not tracking the argument, right? The other thing that you're not understanding, I never said that Kabuto uh, didn't go around collecting knowledge about people. What's in question is if he has an accurate knowledge gauge about fucking Harrison, all right? If he's seen this current Harrison strength, okay? And you're agreeing that fucking, if he has his reputation, that could have been from his past self, okay? And it's not currently active with the analogy that I keep providing to you and you keep not refuting that and you keep fucking dodging that fucking analogy about that point about the reputation shit. You would need to prove why this reputation is with his current self, okay? I don't understand what you're not getting. All right, I never All right, said it's that. Been ten though. minutes. See, Golden. Okay. So, you stay in D1? yeah, yes. Yeah, so let him stay in. Let him stay in. I just want to remind you: don't let D1 deceive you. They're actually the ones in the affirmative. This entire point was birthed from him saying, "Oh, Orochimaru's honest," because we see him comment on Harrison ten years ago being able to possibly defeat him. Okay, or see, blah, see, blah, I blah. understand who's on the affirmative. Yeah, wait, so I'm just saying, yeah, so yeah, so sh if D1's on the affirmative, I just want to make this. I just want to make this very clear. He has to prove why. Here, or it would only apply to Harrison's prime strength. We just have to pr um, give counteractive or counteractive arguments that would prove that it doesn't. Um, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was in chat talking, but I think what he was saying about the reputation thing is he's giving like anecdotes. He's saying, yeah, Michael Jordan is like known for this, but no one's actually seen him play or something like that. It could just be based on like past feats and past reputation. But he's completely ignoring the fact that we have two statements within the manga that show that one, Kabuto thinks that this reputation is consistent with um, present tense. He says, oh, you shouldn't be that mad or you shouldn't be like, you shouldn't blame yourself for losing because, you know, he has the reputation of, of being the strongest out of the five Kage. And we see that Erica also believes this thing to be um, true or corrects himself. Or well, Harrison also believes this thing to be true. Um, he said that Erica is just being respectful or something like that because he admires Harrison's strength. I don't know if that's true, but even if it was, um, no, Harrison, I mean, not Harrison, Harrison corrects him and then Erica says, I'm sorry, right? He added tone when he repeated it, like that would change anything. But the actual semantic context is here, um, is Erica apologizing, which is already indicative of him believing himself to have done something wrong. Okay, so I just think that it's consistent. There's a portrayal that kind of shows that Harrison um, at this point should still have his reputation apply to actual present tense as opposed to just applying to past. And since you're on the affirmative, you have to prove the contrary. They keep begging the fucking question, <laughs> bro. What's in question is that if this reputation is about his active strength, you keep saying that Kabuto states that he has the reputation about him being the fucking strongest. Right. What's in question is that if that reputation is still in reference to his fucking current strength and not his past tense, you're not understanding that. You guys keep begging the question by saying that Kabuto makes this statement about him having a reputation of the strongest. I already keep attacking that. And then you're talking about the Uruka statement. I already said that the reason why he says I sorry is because um he could just have this respect thing for Harrison because he is the Hokage of the fucking village, right? And he doesn't want to diminish his fucking ego, right? And the reason why you're on the affirmative here, right, is because we already evidence our claim. Dude, y'all don't, you... don't have to argue about who's okay, on okay. the affirmative. I understand. All right, bad, bad. All right. So, uh, yeah. uh, we, bro, I wasn't done. So we are evidencing our claims, right, with showing an example of Orochimaru, and we already gave reason to why this thing is the case. So we would have the stronger argument. All you guys are doing is just showing the alternative. Do you want it? Do you want it? Sorry, I, I know. All right, bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm just gonna respond. So once again, D1 is tap dancing over the argument. Um, first of all, we're not begging the question. The entire context of the scenario. I'm gonna repeat this one more time. If you don't attack it, we'll just like move on. I don't care. Um, Kabuto is making a statement after Richimori's done fighting Harrison. He says, "Don't worry, it's cool." You chose to fight someone with this reputation, implying that this reputation is consistent with present tense. He's choosing to fight someone that has a reputation, and this implies that Carpenter thinks that this reputation still holds in actual fact. Okay, you chose to fight someone. The context is mm -hmm. a fight with this reputation. Simple. Okay, I'm saying that okay. this contextually. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait. The Erica thing that you, that you keep invoking about it could just be a respect thing. Like I said, I don't know if that's true. You're going to have to show me evidence of him respecting Harrison. What I'm saying is that the semantic context entails my interpretation. This is two scans that I'm invoking that show or prove my interpretation to be the case. Whereas you're just saying, oh, well, it could be the case that this and it could be the case that that. There's, there's no evidence for that. There's no evidence to suggest that. Um, but yeah, if you if you think you've already responded, can we go into the point about Harrison being weaker? Both of those.
both of those scams you sent would already show I, why those things wouldn't be the case. I was gone. That reputation a... and that reputation. I was gone a little argument, bit. Bro, Wait, what? Shinra, 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 let him talk, dude. Just and that you. reputation shit that that is going over your head. So I'm not even going to even go back to that. You're not understanding. <laughs> would you guys like um, judgment? Sure. Uh, I want to know. I want to yeah. talk about the scan Jensen about him being like not having enough strength no, to no. be Reaper Devsil. He said he was fine with concluding after what he said. Wait, so no, okay, wait, I do. Okay, what happened so far? Because I had to leave and do something. That's what I told you. Um, I'll be right essenti- there. Essentially, um, see, attack something that you agreed with. <laughs> he attacked something uh, you agreed with. No, and, uh, I, I didn't. Forgot what the I, fuck? I, I forgot okay. what. Um, wait, so, hold on. So hold on. What did I attack, bro? Go ahead. The, the Aruka thing, Shinra was the one who actually said that he had respect. He was the one who asserted that, and D1 was like, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Like, it doesn't change what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I, I know, saying... I know. I'm just, I'm just saying that that's like one of the main things I also heard. Um, they're also <laughs> arguing over begging the question again, Shinra. Who's begging oh the question? Oh my god, that's and, just um, sad. What, he, he, D one's still asking. Okay, we've provided all our proof. While you guys are attacking our proof or attempting to, we still need something on the contrary. Um, just to like reaffirm your position because there's not okay. enough. Okay. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait. You'll talk about the data books that Jin sent. No, okay, so I think I understand what's happened so what far. What the fuck? So basically, so basically, see what started selling when I was gone. Anyway, right, to respond to their loads it's and... Return. What the what fuck? <laughs> yeah, like, Alden, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm looking through the evidence, bro. Jin has sent, like, two data books that I need to respond to, you, and it's quite he, difficult for bro, you to respond when, to points. When, he, when the point I is, be, if, you, if, you dis, if you disprove that argument, I wouldn't, like... I wouldn't say yeah, but if these accurate. yeah, but if this is this is an interpretation battle, so clearly the um extra evidence to support their interpretation is important. Well, you're, you're for, yeah, you're forgetting that Shinra has already attacked or presented something towards those scans anyway. So Wait, are you sure? Yeah, anything that's left uncontested, um, and you guys find it by listening back, I'll definitely just say like we're not gonna include it, but I'm pretty sure everything's been attacked. Oh, wait, um Okay, so he did, like, basically they were asking for additional evidence as to why, like, uh, towards our stances, right? Because I can give him additional mm-hmm. evidence as to why the sun should be stronger. Oh, no. We're, we Okay, well, we, you can get into that later. We need judgment on these points. Sure. Okay. Uh, okay, so judgment. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll give full judgment for the whole thing, and then I'll give individual instances. So I do think D1 and Gen 1 when it came to the point um like but i will say this when it came to the individual instances shinra and d1 was a little was a little bit like close when it came to things but d1 was edging it out d1 and c c wasn't really understanding but i think that it wasn't really a skill thing i think c was just not really focused on shinra's arguments not really tracking too much and then jin Kind of, Jin actually is a big part to Jin, Jin actually wasn't bad. Uh, his reasonings and arguments weren't that there, but his evidence was a big part in helping D1. Okay. So, so, um, yeah. So basically, yeah, they did win, but it, it like, if you look at what, reasons why you guys lost, C kind of didn't track a lot what, of the things. And, what up, wait, what point did they win in specific? Um, oh, well. they won. They they won the overall point about whether or not the reputation thing. Um, oh, is to imply someone got stronger or weaker, things like that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, they, when it I'm came just... to who was on the offensive and who was on the defensive, um, I do think that you guys, at, like, I understand that D1 and Jin asserted the original point, but Shinra, and this is why I said, see, you should have been tracking, Shinra asserted a lot of things that he just didn't send evidence for. A lot of shit. Like, a lot of shit. Like, there's a lot of possibility claims like um probability cl- like a lot of stuff that he didn't show evidence for the one thing i know he did show evidence for um was that point about the reputation being uh the aruka thing being contradicted because i know jen brought up that idea i think and he used the scan of here is in um basically like basically telling him like oh you know like you're wrong or implying he's wrong and then him changing it but that was the only thing he sent 
you know. So yeah, okay. do you want to? Like, I'm not gonna lie. I don't. You, you, you've done enough damage. You've done enough damage. Time for me. What to the fuck? You kept tacking me out every. Wait, wait, chill, chill. You kept tacking me out every three minutes. Hey, no, I just stopped no, tracking. No, that's not my fault. Is there any more points? Is there any more points, or is that it? Well, I'm going to. I'm going to go left. into why this. I'm just going to go into the sauna statements, and I think those also prove that they're stronger than um the Rakage. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, you want are you aware of the statement where it says that only I call his name, only the Sonnen can defeat another sound Sonnen? Or like, no, oh no, that, that isn't that isn't uh, the wrong statement. I'm just talking about something different. Uh, this statement it says that they're recognized as the strongest. That's also yo, I gotta chill on Ghetto Jin, bro. <laughs> you got all the data book skins. And the hell of you. There were one should we call it. Is this the same scan you said already? Or tomorrow? Yeah, okay, yeah. This just they're, proved that they're like they're recognized as the strongest by everyone. And probably being recognized as the strongest. You see it. I think that's the reference is to a point a certain point of time in the village where they like were the strongest uh uh fucking uh Joni. But that would just be I was referencing only Joni? I'm about to, yeah, I was about to elaborate, right? Because okay. we do know that the Hokage does exist within the village, and we know from a narrative perspective that the Hokage is deemed as like the strongest uh, ninja within the village. Why? Why is it the strongest? Those, I'll get those statements. Hmm? Which I'll statements? Get those statements? Okay, you get them. Okay, sure. Yeah. This debate is Y'all got me back on the B1 debate wave, bro. Uh... Damn. See, I <laughs> left for three minutes. Yeah, wait, no. hold on. Shinra, next time, just don't tag me out every two minutes, bro. I just lost interest. Like, what the fuck? My fault. Sounded, oh. sounded, like, sounded like you had it. You know what I mean? You had it all under control. I was like, bro, saying, it's oh. a tag team debate. Y'all supposed to track each other. I was <laughs> noting what you were saying, dude, and you, you just sold. Every two minutes, I'm getting tagged. I thought, yeah, bro, tell, tell the, the me, uh, me and Apollo versus Lightning Jackson Valor. Tell Valor to stop running. That's what we trying to. Valor said he doesn't like you. Valor doesn't fuck with you. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't give a shit. Get so get another fucking guy then. I don't even. I've only talked to that guy like once. Wait, Nico. Wait, Shino, are you arguing that the son? You know that the strongest, bro. Yep. All right. So here's the statement. Basically, those who get the Hokage title are the strongest shinobi of this village. Uh, why do you, those who get the Hokage, yeah, why can't I just be referencing like at the moment in which they're crowned? Since you already agreed that like, oh, he, like this prime hero is in, you just be at this like, caliber of strength that's way beyond everyone else's. Don't you feel as if like you should just be referencing him when he's crowned, when he's in his prime? Yeah, that was not a contradiction to my argument because the argument that we provided was about the reputation stuff and the reputation stuff doesn't contradict the idea that he could still be the strongest within the village, within his village, okay? It doesn't have to be Why something else. Oh, bro, I wasn't... Oh, my God. Okay, go ahead. Let, let him finish. Yeah. So the point that I agreed upon is that Harrison had the reputation of being the strongest Hokage out of all the other villages. I am just talking about a specific specification within this village alone, okay? So when you have this fucking title as the strongest Hokage... You yourself is the strongest within your village, not other fucking Okages, okay? Okay. You are the strongest in your village, but not other Kages. But then I'm asking you, why is this statement referring to, like, why is this statement, like, referring to generally as the time in which he's Okage, rather than just, oh, he's the strongest in which he was crowned? Yeah, because, because that's why what? Naruto's whole now, wait, wait, wait. That's why Nar that's Naruto's whole thing, right? Naruto has this drive to be Hokage. So whenever he becomes the strongest, a plus this drive to be Hokage, then he gains this title. Yeah. Uh. So we know that uh, Orochimaru, he literally has his plan to take out the fucking Hokage. And with him taking out the Hokage, he knows that the rest of the village will fall, right? Because he goes to fight the strongest fucking ninja in the fucking village, okay? It wouldn't make sense for him to go fucking fight somebody that's weaker, right? It wouldn't increase his chance of fucking de fucking destroying the village as we know Orochimaru wants to destroy the village. So it would make sense yeah. for him to go fight the strongest shinobi and take him out, which would increase his chance of fucking destroying the village. Defeated because it's literally just okay, yeah. Or tomorrow goes after the person who's the strongest in the village, right? Who's in the village at the time? Like Kakashi in them? Like, is he Jiraiya in the village there to fight or tomorrow? No, he isn't, right? So, oh sure, or like, Hiruzen can be at the strongest whenever like the sun and on there, but you're trying to put a contradiction onto this title, onto like this statement, which I just feel would take make your 
argument more unlikely since you're trying to like presuppose that the author is just putting in these two statements to conflict against each other whereas i'm trying to resolve this contradiction by and by not not only just not adding extra assumptions onto this statement where you are specifying that it's joining and i'm saying no it isn't because this statement doesn't say that right i'm also telling you that this statement just doesn't contradict anything your argument just doesn't defeat mine it so does and the reason why it does is because you're on the affirmative again shara and then you just keep posing these counter possibilities to try to contradict my notion but it's not a contradiction because these things are not mutually exclusive these things can coexist at the same time okay and the reason for it is that you're saying that oh well this statement could just be in reference to once fucking here is in his first crown i am showing evidence to why this thing isn't the case and is referring to it's currently being in the village right so Orochimaru probably doesn't even fucking know that fucking Jiraiya, Tsunade, all these other people. Tsunade is probably on a fucking vacation. We don't fucking know, right? We don't know Jiraiya's probably on some task missions, but according to Orochimaru of uh, knowledge, he probably doesn't know who's at the fucking village. You would need to prove what? that he doesn't know that all these other fuck... Bro, I wasn't... I, can you let me finish? I would elaborate. I always elaborate on my points. If you let me finish, you'll understand. All right. So what I am saying is that uh, from what we know, we don't know if Orochimaru knows if Jirai is in the village, if Tsunade is in the village, all these Sani that you're claiming to be the strongest ninja, okay? But his plan is to take out Hiruzen, and it's stated by fucking, uh, co uh, fucking Kabuto, his fucking self. They planning out to take it out. So his general idea was to fight the strongest ninja, which is fucking Hiruzen. So you can't say, oh, well, if Jirai is not in the village, Tsunade is in the village, of course he would go after fucking Hiruzen because he's the next strongest after them. No, we don't know if he knows that, or that's his general idea about him going on with this plan. So you would need to okay. prove that he not he has that a fucking knowledge. Yes, Bison Kanaha. Yes, Bison Kanaha. Kabuto. We you already agreed that Kabuto. Wait, we already agreed Kabuto was a spy in all of the different villages. So if he has a spy in Kanaha, then he'd also be able to tell like whether or not like whether or not like what's his name that Jiraiya is in the village or not. And we no, also have to put into wait wait wait. We also have to put into in question. Wait 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 wait. We can get into that. Yeah. After. We, we can yeah. Get eight minutes that. left. Eight minutes left. Yeah. Does anybody so want yours? to tag in? Tag out. No. Hold on. I need to refute that point you made. Uh, you're saying since Kabuto is a spy, he has spies in the village, he, that means he would know if Jiraiya fucking is in the village, right? Uh, you would need way. to, bro, I, oh my god, right? You would need to prove that he is actually spying on the village during that fucking said time where they're making that plan. Because that's just a basic assumption, which is currently like a hasty generalization. Oh, since Kabuto's a spy, that means that he would know that fucking Jirai is in the village since he's a spy and he spies on all these other villages, right? That would be a hasty generalization. You would need to prove with evidence that he spied and he knew this thing verbatim, okay? Because if you just say that, you just make an interpretation based off him being a spy, which would be a hasty yeah. generalization, okay? Okay. D1, that's what history generalization is. The history generalization is saying that because there's one instance of something being the case, therefore it is the case in all of these other instances without actually um, providing any form of extra evidence. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying if Kabuto is a spy, we see obviously Kabuto does, isn't coming into the tuning exams to win there. That's why he drops out, right? So if Kabuto is a spy and he we see he's in the village, we know he isn't in the village for the tuning exams and the tuning exams is the point in which they are trying to take over Konoha. That's why he fights or he is in within the tuning exams therefore it's likely for us to say that kabuto is in there to spy on the village right that's kabuto's whole thing that's kabuto's whole shtick right so clearly what the evidence is pointing towards is just kabuto is just a snake a snake ass nigga like i'm pretty sure it's stated too that he's a spy but I, he's spying on them we can get into that later yeah, so the reason why there's a hasty generalization because by your own definition verbatim, that helps my argument. You're saying that since he does this thing in other fucking villages, that he does it in all fucking villages, okay? In one village, that he does it in all villages. But I am applying this scenario in the case where he's spying on the fucking village at all given times. Or what's in question is if he knew that fucking Jiraiya was not in a village. You are saying he knows because he spies. That is why... You want you me. Can I repeat that? Oh. The reason why this thing is a hasty generalization is because you're saying since he spies, he would know that Jiraiya and Tsunade and all these fucking Sani were not in the village during that time. That's what's yeah. in question. At, because he spies, does he know this thing? Okay? That's why you're applying a hasty generalization. So you would need to prove with evidence that he knew verbatim that Jiraiya and Orochimaru, I mean Jiraiya and Tsunade, were not in the village. But that doesn't contradict the notion that I literally said verbatim, right, that their general idea was to take out fucking Harrison. They literally made a whole plan just to take out Harrison by literally making a barrier so that nobody would interfere, by literally making Edo Tensei. They did all this preparation just in order to defeat Harrison. Okay, so that will lead credence to the idea why Harrison, as being the Hokage, 
is the strongest ninja within the village. It's just consistently okay. a narrative thing. Okay, I deny your consistency, Bakaru. No. So the first thing you're saying is just that I say hasty generalization because I'm saying because he spies on one village, therefore he's spying on all the others. No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm seeing it's shown that he spies on all the villages, right? In them, um, what's his name? In his fight against Itachi and, and like Sasuke in part two, right? So if it's shown that he spies on all of these other villages, right? Theref and we know that he like, Kabuto is in Konoha specifically to spy on them. Therefore, it's likely for us to say that he's there to spy and see like um spy and see who is there and spy and see like the state of the village. You saying that okay? Well, we don't want his name. Well, I'd have to prove that he knows if they're there or not. I think it's likely that he knows that they are there because if his whole goal, by your own admission, is to to see is to take over Konoha. It make no sense for him to not know to these people who are, might be detrimental to his plan. It make no sense for him to not know these other strong people within the village, right? When I cross the street, it just makes no sense. It's highly unlikely, right? I can show you scans of like him spying on all of the other villages. So my teammate C doesn't throw the debate. So before we continue to make arguments, can I please go get that scan? Um, what scan? Um, of Kabuto spying on all of the other villages. Oh, I agree that he spies on all the other villages. That wasn't nothing that I disagree with. Doctor reasoning, but okay. I'll show you. Yeah, okay. This okay. is him spying on all of the other villages. He yeah, I'll just support. That's cool. I'll villages. support my uh my argument with this other scan, right? Besides, right. none of the shinobi in Konoha right now are uh, are any threat to him. If only the fourth Hokage was still alive, he was saying, "I suspect that even I." couldn't face him okay so this just leads credence to the idea that even without all the people within the village he himself believes that he can't defeat him right as the fucking hokage right? and the reason why he says is because he knows he's the strongest within the village be the narrative being the okay, hokage the and if he can't what, what is he doing uh, are you gonna let me speak now he's gonna go ahead okay all right so i suspect that not even i could face him. And this is in reference to fucking Orochimaru because they know that fucking Orochimaru and them are in the fucking village doing their fucking duties, whatever, within the tuning zones, right? So he states that he even though I could fucking defeat him. So this leads credence to the idea from the narrative perspective that he's the strongest Hokage and that even if he can't defeat him, then they're fucking doomed. So that's the reason why he states this thing. So go ahead and... Uh, if he says, oh, I doubt anyone within the village would be a threat to him. I'm currently putting into question whether or not Jirai is within the village, right? This statement, for it to work and for it to support your argument, Hiruzen has to know whether or not, like, um, whether or not, like, um, what's his name? Jirai is still in the village or Jirai is in the village, right? Which I don't think you have any evidence for. That's one. Then two, like, you, I already sent the scans of him spying on all the villages, taking notes of what the Shinobi are doing and taking notes of which Shinobi are there. So if we see he does that consistently for all of these other villages, right, via inductive reasoning, we can say that he would also do the same thing for this instance and i've given you a motive for him to do so so if you want we can move off of this point i don't even think we need a uh, tag in no i need to uh refuse that right so you're not understanding right so what's in you you keep appealing to like him being a spy okay but um what's in question is that if him being a spy means that he knows jirai and Tsunari in a village so if you're putting into question if they even know if Orochimaru and Jirai in the village, which you haven't proved that they sh would know, right? You're just saying, oh, well, he's a spy. Well, he goes around the village fucking spying on fucking, uh, fucking whatever you want to fucking say, right? But we don't know what he's uh, his spying for. It could be for fucking Sasuke because we know that Orochimaru wants Sasuke, right? He probably doesn't even want to get near, he probably doesn't even want to get near Hirazen because that will fucking uh, increase his likelihood of him getting fucking caught, right? So he probably doesn't even go near Hirazen. That's why he literally spies within the Chuni exam where fucking the Joni are not even there. It's just a bunch of fucking Chuni within the forest, right? So he literally limits it to where he goes and what he sees and what he knows, okay? So that just brings likelihood to my argument to prove why him being a spy why would he know that fucking Jiraiya and all of them were in the village, okay? But that still doesn't contradict the notion about the general idea they made this plan, okay. Timer's up. Um, I think you guys, you guys feel like you need to, like, Shinra, do you feel like you need to respond to that, or? Yes. What? Okay. Time's up, bitch. Okay. Uh, I was, I was trying I mean, to this time, how about so this? Not... I, I said, I said anything that's not attacked goes yeah that's, cool. that's um, cool so it's essentially you guys mm -hmm. leave your closing 
uh, what? Arsenal. What? What? No, he, no, no, C needs to attack that. Nah, nah, okay. No, no, no. The timer's up in terms of the timer for the whole debate. Remember, I said it for an hour. I'm um, sick oh. to my stomach, bro. I didn't anyway, even get to attack. I had I had five minutes of talk. I'm never doing this thing. I had five minutes of talking time. Shinra, you suck. Okay, all me. right, Sh- Shinra, Shinra, you could give your your final rebuttal, and then okay. like D one okay. if it's something so, that needs to be attacked. My final rebuttal is literally just you're saying that oh well he could be there for Sasuke or he could be spying for Sasuke. No, I don't think it'd be likely that he's spying for Sasuke alone. You're just trying to slim down what he could be spying for to specifically one thing. But we know if the whole theme of the arc is just that Richemaru is trying to break into the village right then it makes sense that Orochi that he's there even if I still meant that he's there for Sasuke he could also just be there for to spy on the village you saying that oh well he he could just not get close to Hiruzen because it increases the likelihood of him getting figured out that would just be you trying to put into question he like Kabuto's ability as a spy if we know Kabuto's been able to get into the training exams multiple times without anyone discovering that he was actually a fake till this current tuning exams right that literally just proved to us right that oh yeah this guy actually he's a pretty good spy so getting close to Hiruza would actually be detrimental to him then you also put it like you put another thing into question right what don't know like this Hiruza scan only supports your point if there's any if like Hiruza has knowledge or like okay, the song okay, okay. that no one, we know that yeah. like why do you guys yeah. do this rambling like, shit like, shut your dog yo, bro order order, yo, order. Yo, listen, listen i had five listen, minutes of talking things, time, bro. things that we know things that we know that you guys like elaborate yeah. like we like bro I didn't, you know, like, I didn't hear the other the other stuff he said because i said he liked that one then he just didn't listen to me i'm sick to my okay, stomach okay i could give them yeah. another 10 minutes but then hell no nah, 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 bro. Bro. Uh, right, that's cool bro let, uh, let, let let let's last 10 minutes cool that's all right oh uh, yeah you and you and jen m this shit off please all right jen go ahead bro count to all right, bro. Uh, i'm about to i'm about to really like demolish this right kage below sami you know so uh-huh. all right so here here's a blatant stand of them just saying base right kage above tsunade who's a sani who almost killed this nigga jiraiya like look at that shit like she needed to heal that nigga was not healing nigga was a go he went straight into the fight she's ass she's garbage wait where exactly does it say that bro all right you see right there um uh, west right there fight. First scan, first first scan, first scan, not first scan, not first scan. It's the second scan, second scan, second scan. Um, basically they're saying there's a jutsu that teleports you, and you're gonna get hurt because it, it just takes so much fucking force on your body. And they say, okay, if we're at the third right kage or the fourth right kage, you're gonna get beat the fuck up. And so now he's like, yo, don't worry, I can heal myself. That means that this nigga, um, base base right kage is just above sani level. That nigga could just easily tank to that level. <laughs> All right, bro. So basically, Jin's once again right in. So, like you said, it's a hyper speed transportation due to, and even clarifies that it's because he's of Lord Third's blood. Um, I don't know if you read the series, but the Third Right Kage is pretty much renowned for having um extensive levels of durability. So, like, sure, right, base Right Kage can be more durable, but I don't really think that helps your point at all. I don't see why it's also base either. Like, he might have to trigger V one or V two to resist. Look, look at the scan. He's in base me teleports. He's in, wait, show me him teleporting, bro. Because he I sent did, 10 I, scans. I, I, you sent I, 10 I, scans. Yeah, I posted evidence. I posted the evidence. <laughs> oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. Anyways, <laughs> bro, that's what I'm yeah. saying. This All of these scans have embedded claims. But anyway, yeah, he can be more durable. Why does that defeat the entire okay, notion yeah, of relativity? Point that, my point is that um, this nigga, this nigga, um, what's it called? Shimmer's arguing that, like, the Sani basically scale each other and that they're strongest. But this is a clear contradiction. A clear contradiction. Right, based by Kage, it's literally outscaling Asami. No, that's not the case. It's just saying that he's more what? durable. That doesn't mean. He's that doesn't mean. Go ahead, go ahead. Like I said, that's that's not the case. When we say someone's relatively typically mean to be on par, right? So obviously, them being more durable to the point where the base rank Kage can take it, for example, but you know they can't take it without regenerating does not defeat the notion that they can still be relative. Like their speed can be relative, their strength can be relative, or so you know they can be be above in speed and strength. Um, in comparison, she can also have jutsu that put her above. It does I don't see why like the Raikage being more like innately durable defeats the fact that Tsunade is stronger relative to him. I don't, I don't get it. First, I'll talk about speed first. I just want to talk about speed, right? It's just stated twice that no one can match Raikage when it comes to speed. Ever since Minuto died, Minuto was alive when when, when Haruzen was a nigga. So like the the the, the fucking nigga we were talking about um having this crazy shit back then, Raikage blitzing that nigga. <laughs> 
Like no one matches up his speed. So we got speed done. That doesn't that doesn't happen. We got durability done. Let's talk about AP. Okay, no, chill, chill. No, 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 no. Let so, him respond. Okay, fine, yeah, so, so, so like, dur durability, that's fine. Like I said, this I is just, like, like I said, you need to lock in, bro. You need to time my point. Tsunade is re relativity is just characterized by being on par. You can be more durable than somebody and still be relative because of your speed or your strength or your jutsu. Like, for example, um, Jirai oh, and Orochimaru, let's say that. Jirai and Orochimaru are relative. Please. Maybe Jirai, how was it done? Maybe Jirai is more like a, what the hell? <laughs> because... See, 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 like he already responded to this, bro. Like, no, he did. did. No, he did, bro. No, he did. Okay. He, he, I'm just going to continue. Bro. No, he didn't. Like I said, Jiraiya can be relative to Tsunade ah. um, because of, like, okay, you know what? Fine, bro. If you want to, ha, that's fine, bro. Cool. Let's talk about speed. I'm, then. Go bro, ahead. I'm saving. Oh, no, though, cool. It's cool. Bro. Go ahead, bro. Jen, go ahead. Talk about speed, bro. Yeah, so it stated twice that no one could keep up with this nigga Raikage ever since Minato died. You got the first one where it's really stated, and the second one, where um, Kirin uh, Kakari, who can sense chakra, nigga strength, all this shit, she literally says, "Okay, if you can't keep up with this nigga, just just surround yourself with a shield." <laughs> so it's it's affirmed twice that no one can keep up with this nigga's movements. So she's not relative in durability or speed right now. Like it's 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 garbage. Okay, so like you sent two scans. The first scan where he says, "I am the fastest shinobi alive." Um. Like, I don't think that defeats the notion of relativity. Like, once again, someone can be fast in you and still relative on par. Um, as for the second thing, that's like a knowledge claim on Karen's part. I want to know why Karen's knowledge is even suitable to make such a wild claim about the entirety of the Shinobi world. It could be just based on like a <laughs> reputation thing or a Jutsu thing. Bro. Oh my God. It, it, okay, listen. The reputation that Rakage has is, listen, here's why you're stupid. The reputation that Rakage has is by him being the fastest ever since Minato disappeared, right? Minato was alive ever since Haruzo was in his basically his prime, um, near going going into the old man. Okay, so all this means is that Tsunade and the Sanin, when they were the younger days and even growing up, is not matching these bitches. And Kuring, who also is alive as as well, is really just reaffirming this fucking thing. And it's even shown in the manga when Rakage fights fucking Sasuke. He can't track him at all, so he needs to make a fucking shield to protect himself. Hence why he's being reinforced multiple times that no one is on this nigga's level when it comes to speed. You're waffling right now. Okay, so that wasn't a defeat to my argument. Um, it basically, is. What? basically, yeah, that wasn't a defeat. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, that wasn't a defeat. That wasn't a defeat. That wasn't a defeat to my point. Like, I will. Like, as for the Sasuke thing, like I said, it's still a knowledge claim. Um, Sasuke, like, being unable to, like, physically move or react, which, like, once again, I don't even know that's true. But even if that's the case, that doesn't defeat the fact that the Sanin would be able to move or react to him. Um, like, the first thing was, like, oh, no one's faster than him, or, like, he's the fastest shinobi. As a superlative statement, that just means that um, compared to everyone else, he is the fastest. That does, not that does not necessarily mean that he can't be relative to other people. We've been seeing part two, Shinade and the Raikage um are able to like fight relatively against Madara Susano and it's even stated that you know they're stronger than Raikage if you want me to send that. So I just think that sure the Raikage can be like faster or whatever, that's cool. Um that doesn't necessarily think that or well, that doesn't necessarily imply that Sunade you know, can't react to him or get split by him. So you know they can still be relative as well as the signing they can also still be relative. And the knowledge came on Karin's priority put her knowledge into question um and her basis for making this statement which like a, an extremely broad statement nothing can match the Raikage's teleport speed and i think that this could just be like um either hyperbolic or like a reputation thing it does not necessarily have to be true in actuality so yeah um i think i don't need to attack that speed thing that I, I think my previous arguments oh, were already strong enough to easily demolish that we can go into AP right now for our Kage go a different time. I'm tagging oh, again. Yes. I'm tagging again. I'm tagging again. I'm tagging again. I'm tagging again. I'm tagging again no more. You can't tag again no more. No, 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 y'all can't. I, actually, no. I think that you guys use three manual tags. And he's right. Look. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. See, this is very simple. It's very simple, right? Jiraiya's strongest <laughs> form is imperfect Seizmo. You agree, right? Sure. Okay. Naruto, per, he mastered Seizmo. You agree, correct? Pretty sure. <laughs> okay, it's, oh it's stated. God. It's stated that once you master Sage Mode, you're in a league of your own, yeah. and no one compares to you, right? Uh, and well, when it comes to the Konoha Village, right? The Konoha Village specifically. Okay, I'm gonna post a scan for you right here. Um, so basically, what I'm getting at is that the perfect Sage Mode imp is above Jiraiya directly, because that that's his whole training too for as well. So here it is, right here. 
Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm waiting. You're aware? You said you're aware you're waiting. Which one did you say? I, I, said, I said I'm waiting. Okay, you're waiting. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, my Lord. Uh, let's see how many minutes. Oh! Here's the scan. <laughs> one more minute, people. Shit. Now you see that? Uh, I guess he has mastered Seiju to his and is now battling pain. Uh, Naruto has asked that no one interferes. If he's mastered Seiju, so he's in a class of his own now. Like, why doesn't this, bro? You know, Naruto fights pain after Jiraiya dies. Oh my god! Why is he just referring to the niggas that? Wait, wait, Cho Cho, wait. Contextual. Shinra, Shinra, no commentary. It was a leading question, bro. So if the context of the scan is, oh, he asked that no one interferes, right? Clearly, it's talking about the current state of affairs. So yeah, he's saying, yeah, oh, he's in a wait. So if he's saying he's in a class of his own, would you agree that this wouldn't apply to niggas like Jiraiya? Looking at third skins, that 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 third skin are a, are a beast of argument. What what third skin? Of Sinade? Naruto is training to surpass Araya. He unlocks Master Sage mode. He's been a minute. 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 Wait, I'm going. Wait, let oh, them shit. let them finish. Four o'clock EST. They will be done. Go ahead. Yeah. So yeah, he's currently training to surpass Jiraiya. That's fine. Okay, so he unlocks Master Sage mode, and now he's in a league of his own. Compared to the people that are Asian present. Asian? There's no what? correlation there. If there it was to say, I was about? a no, no, no. Yeah. Wait, wait, chill. So you know what they you says, cut him off. You cut him off, though. See, you have to. What? What's the? You, okay. You blatantly cut him off, bro. Yeah, but okay, you can go ahead, bro. There is a correlation. The correlation is that Jiraiya, as we know, got beat up by Pain in the strongest form, in perfect stage mode. Now we need a new hero, somebody strong enough to fight Pain. Okay, what we gotta do? We're gonna get this new person to train harder than Jiraiya did. Get a master sage mode, hence the whole narrative of master sage mode with Naruto. And guess what? He comes back. He is now in a league of his own. Been a minute. He's been a minute. He's been a minute. Yeah, been I a think. Minute. Wait, chill. Okay, let let C say this final thing, and then I'll. It doesn't matter what he says. I kind of already. Yeah, got my... I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna put into question like That's I'm gonna put into question Naruto's feats against Pain. Some pretty sure Pain's weakened in that fight. Oh, my oh, God. oh, okay. This is going to go into a whole nother thing. Let's just go. If, if there's something that you guys did not contest either side, it will de be dismissed. It won't be used in the judgment. But essentially, everything that was responded to is here. Um, okay, no, Final no, no, judgment. No, no. I want to respond. Uh, I want to respond. Wait, no, 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 no. You did all you could, buddy. So final <laughs> judgment. Essentially, <laughs> D1 and Gen 1. It's all right, Shinra, man. Sometimes we Wait, get so is Shinra getting too. banned, man? Yep. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I'm not going to ban any of the sides. I never agreed to do that. Tensa is the one you guys were appealing to for that, right? Or Jester? Well, I, I said I wasn't going to do that. Okay, time walk for a week at least. Um, I'm, I'm sick to my stomach, bro. Back. So, so, yeah. Essentially, when it came to this last point, because you guys already know how the other point went, Shinra and D1 had some pretty good points. And I was leaning towards Shinra when it came to the stuff until because i'm not gonna lie d1 had the upper hand in, initially but i feel like you know he folded on that kabito shit that was good tracking by shinra until c and jin came in and jin was able to prove why um the raikage would be above tsunade I'm so you know people chill with hating on jin by the way he he clutched this yeah what, it would have been in con if it wasn't for, for yo uh, d1 do you want to run something him. back yes your ass, bitch. <laughs> no, since you, were, since you were talking crazy, you were talking crazy about some TV. <laughs> TV. You can run it back 1v1. You can run it back 1v1. That's cool. Scared is we can do it 1v1. We can do it 1v1. That's cool. With that one, bro. We can do 1v1. That's cool. We can do one. We can do one. Don't duck me. You already lost the first one. Yeah, you want to see the original one? It's D1, so funny. Don't fun. lose again, bro. D1, don't uh, use again. <laughs> the original one is the original one is uh, so something yeah. anime eight oh send the original version. <laughs> Wait, so D1, you're gonna duck my one v one. Niggas, yo, you know what's funny? This is what this is what it tells you about the tier four debates. They don't look at the scan. They just fucking, they just talk like they literally. I told him this scan was fake. I told him they just talk like. Bro, this guy was fake. <laughs> anyway, oh, anyway, anyway, bro, even, you know, bro, run it back. Even, up, even, even Hirazen's appearance is edited to look younger <laughs> in the fake one, bro. I told him this scan was fake. 
this dumb fucking nigger. See, see, you're a fucking nigger. Wait, no, Shino, you're the one that agreed to it, not me. What the fuck I'm are you talking about? I'm sick to my oh. stomach. I'm sick you're to my stomach. You're the one that agreed to it, bro. Shit out of both of them. So, anyways, <laughs> Steve, <laughs> if you want to run it back, we can do a 1v1 right now. Yo, you talking, okay, real quick, real quick, to, to the winning team, Jin, Jin, what do you have to say, Jin? Because I'm not going to lie, one, Jin is getting an ELO. He's getting ELO from this. Like, a lot of ELO for pulling that off. That's the MVP. Finals MVP, Jin. The MVP like of the you, debate. Even, even though D1 technically did a lot, Jin letting this shit go through and nobody saying anything until they already agreed to the scan is fucking embarrassing, like Kanyo said. Jin is, where's Jin at? I'm giving him more ELO. He's going up. So let me see where he's at. Let me see where he's at. Let me see where he's at. I gotta ask him. I'm debating. I'm debating D1. I'm winning. I leave for three minutes. I come back and I hear that it was in con. Um, I, most most of the time when you and D one had encounters, it was pretty close. It wasn't like you were slamming or anything. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, you guys do have equal knowledge on Naruto, so realistically, that's Wait, how it should go. In my defense, bro. Shinra would like attack me out every time I joined in when I was tracking, and then he. Yeah, then, wait, oh, I wasn't done. Listen, I was done. And I, wait, I chill, chill. Like, let me talk. 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 Let me talk, bro. Yeah, I'm go. I was gonna say that when the automatic tagging's happened, I'm already in like a terrible position where they made like eight points. I'm not. Yeah, I, I, I was about to say that Shinra, we we can't just blame C here. You made a bunch of possibility claims. D1 was like, prove it, prove it. He was just sitting there, just like basically like yep. moving, Fuck pushing the goalpost. Hiding I from I the fucking. Boy, I, I told that boy seeing DMs the argument. Then he proceeds to look at our DMs and not use the argument. <laughs> you're too cold to see. Yeah, anyways, D1, <laughs> do you want to run it back, bro? Because you're talking. <laughs> that was too <laughs> funny. D1, we can do a 1v1 right now, bro. Get him. I, mean, I, I, I thought after who wins the debate, you guys got to shut up. What happened? Well, right, yeah, that's, yeah, that's... low key, y'all do. Y'all do. I don't want to see either y'all. Yeah. Like, this this is done for a little bit, bro. No, 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 no I want to no, I wanna run it back with D1. This isn't fair, bro. I was like, low key. I want to run it back with D1 on Demon Slayer again. You're never going to win Sage uh, against Ada, Ada, I know the only thing that you do is Naruto. The only Naruto topic I can do is Sasuke versus Lee. So I don't know. Dude, if you dude, do dude, that. dude. I will bro, never talk shit. Bro, fucking won, bro. Wait, I will right never up, talk shit about the collective of D1 and Bro, Gina Quince, Quince, Quince you don't understand. Not only that. Jin did actually like because people are just like, oh, Jin had the fake scan. It's not just that. Jin was also tracking really good too. He was tracking. Yeah, Jin's underrated. Really well. His yeah. rhetoric was just the thing that was bad. But besides that, mm -hmm. he he did decent. It wasn't like yeah. So D one, can we run it back? Are you gonna duck? <laughs> I thought after we win, you guys can't say nothing. What happened? Yeah, well, no, I'm not saying if I'm requesting to run it back. That's cool. Oh, you want to run the same topic back? No, I want to run Demon Slayer. That's your specialty, right? Uh, we can do Naruto. Alright, we can do Naruto. What do you want to do? Uh, Full Frakage versus Sage on Dry. I never wanted to do that topic in the first place. We bro, y'all about to, to bro, D1, you, or C, y'all sure y'all want to run it again? <laughs> yes. I'm not doing that specific topic. That's bro, do a different topic, bro. That's what I'm saying. Down on my Okay, that's cool. You can think that, bro. Like, like I said, you have to take me. You have to take me into an other server and run through the argument for bro, ten minutes, Nolo, bro. And you expect Nolo, me to track all of that shit? No, no, no. These two v twos are gonna be lit. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, we gotta keep it more concise though, because people was low key shotgunning. Like, yeah, uh, too uh, much. That's how it's always gonna be with a Shinra debate, sadly. Um, yeah, me and Apollo pick... versus Lightning Jackson, oh, some nigga from Reach. Let it happen. Make it. Do you want? Can you? Do you want? Can you pick a topic, bro? <laughs> Actually, to be honest, in so in one v ones, I already beat you, so I don't really care, bro. I got judged. No, you can't. You lost. The, you got slaughtered. Yeah, I, 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 I lost it too. I lost it. Anyways, I lost it. I lost it. I lost in a two v two. I didn't lose. No, remember, it's still with remember, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, running back. It's still yeah, yeah bro. Listen, scenario. the point is, it is a team effort, but I am also breaking down individual encounters. So, like, D one did outperform you. That's that's completely show. that's completely fine when he was debating sure enough. But if we won it back right now, one v one, he'll lose. That's what I'm gonna say, bro. <laughs> All right, like, on God, on Jehovah, on Yahweh, and his witnesses, bro, he's gonna lose. Bro. Yo, yo. That's why he's okay. talking right now. I'm not, bro, I'm not listen, tripping or anything. After, after, after today, I don't y'all need to stop debate like this. All four of y'all debate each other a lot, like between I'm all four of you guys. In three months. 
Exactly. 2v2 is harder because you got to go based on what your teammates say and then make a bar. Yeah. Yeah. With someone with the combined IQ of 2.5, right? Oh. This is a fucking fair. I have to... Do- right. Okay, you gotta bro. stop, stop, you gotta stop shitting on C though, bro. People, yeah, Shinner, we can debate right now as well. You can come on these two. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll debate right. to see if Arden's right. the judge. He's right, that's way cool. more. All right, what you wanna, what you wanna do? Uh, bring back tier ass. Ass. <laughs> no. yeah, we what, you, what you wanna do, D1? We could do C, Lee versus C, Sasuke. I got Lee. Wait, here. I'm about to go. Y'all want me to judge this? Oh, yeah, if you gotta leave, then never mind. Yeah, I gotta go. Uh, right. But yeah, good. You know, happy trails, people. This was good. Uh, me and Apollo versus Lightning Jacks. Tell Valor stop fucking running. That's it. No, we can do. No, Demon you gotta post that recording, Shimmer. Like, don't, don't delete that. We, can. Right. we can do Demon Slayer or GDC Kaisen, bro. He's so. I hate niggas like y'all, bro. I swear to God. We can do DS or GDC Kaisen. Oh, you don't want to do Naruto? No, I don't. We can do Demon Slayer or GDC Kaisen. I thought I was ass. What's you up? are us. You lost to me. Okay, so, so you should be stay on JC Kaisen. How can you say I'm ass based off the performance you just gave? <laughs> I beat you low diff yesterday. <laughs> no, you didn't. Quincy's just retarded. Judgment. Quincy's just God, stupid. I guess God is retarded too. Yo, yeah, he is. Look okay, bro. <laughs> can you pick a topic, bro? Stop talking. <laughs> yeah, I'll debate you when all it comes back, bro. When who? We can just have someone else judge, bro. We can have your, your dicky or Han judge. That's fine. So we, you want Hanyo to judge? We'll, ha- we'll have Comrade. That's fine. You can have Comrade. All right, cool. What topic do you want to do? T Lee versus T Sasuke. Nah, we can do Demon Slayer or GC Kaisen. Or we can do IRL. Comrade doesn't know Demon Slayer. Wait, are you fine with me moderating, by the way? Cause that's cold. fine. Comrade, you want to moderate. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, she we can just judge. All right, we can do JJK. We can do JJK with Demon Slayer. Lahi to Lahi. No. If I judge bias against you, may Allah strike me down this instance. See, you are, God. It, you are going to see. Just get comrades up in here, then. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I bro. tried that with Infinity. You proved me wrong, so I ain't doing it. Wait, did Han tell me to say it to his face? Well, I don't know.